feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world dies? Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show how to create 3D product animation for Apple Vision Pro with Element 3D and After Effects. Let's get started. And I'm impatient, hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing sold out. So welcome back and first open Blender and go to File, Import and let's import this file select this scene and import here and let's press S, change scale okay and right now I want to export to element 3D go to again file export and I will use wavefront obj let's click here and let's export here let's add the name vision pro and click export okay so let's back to after effects and let's create new composition files let's add name apple vision pro and size full hd frame rate 25 time duration let's change 10 seconds click ok and let's create new solid layer right mouse new and solid add the name element 3d click ok and go to fx and let's use element and in this time go to scene setup and click import and select this obj model click open and then don't change any settings click ok ok this very little let's go to here click normalize size ok that's good so right now let's add textures materials lights environment backgrounds and finally make cinematic animations let's go so we have already all textures let's open here we can see here all textures that's very good and thank you creator for this amazing 3d model and let's click environment checkbox and go to click this icon show ambient occlusion for realistic scenes and go to preset open environment and backlight for example i want to use these lights let's see okay or these lights okay that's not bad let's try this okay this way very realistic and let's go to click ok okay let's create new camera don't change any settings click ok and I will use camera movement settings here like this I will use C button for shortcut let's press C and zoom to here press C again change view like this okay so let's go to project and select this change name scene 1 and create new composition again add name edit chain duration 30 second click OK so back to scene 1 and in this time let's select this element 3d go to fx and open render settings open ambient occlusion and click this checkbox for enable change in test 10 okay so let's go to lightings and change light here cinematic nice and let's create new background right mouse new and solid add name background and click ok move to behind here and go to FX presses, search FX gradient ramp select gradient ramp, let's use for background layer and change liner map to radial ramp change end color like this and star color, let's change with dark blue click ok, change swap colors ok, not bad and let's move to down these points and change ramp scatter 100 ok so select this camera let's add new controller right mouse go to camera and create orbit null and for move to anchor point center hold control double click anchor point icon click session tool and select null press R let's change rotation nice let's see 
Okay, very good. And let's make first animation. Make X, Y, and Z rotation keyframes. And let's go to three seconds. Let's try change rotation like this. Okay, let's try change a little bit. Let's see. Okay, and select this camera. Let's press C. Again, press C. Let's zoom to here. Let's see again. Nice. Let's move the back a little bit and move to the left. And let's select this background. Let's go to change color to full black. And this color, let's change black like this. Okay, that's good. Click OK. And select this camera. Let's open inside, open camera options. And for realistic view, let's enable depot field. Click here for on. Nice. Change aperture 100. And change quality quarter. Let's change focus distance like this. Hold shift, change for fast. Okay, let's see. Nice. Change quality full. Okay, not bad. So this is my first scene. And let's back to project. Let's select the scene one and control D for duplicate. Let's open scene 2 and let's change quality quarter. Select all keyframes and delete. So let's press C and zoom to camera like this and change some views. Okay, and select this new. Let's press P. Make new passing keyframe and let's move to left. And go to three second, press N, and let's move to right like this. Select three frames, make easies. Let's see. Okay, that's good. And let's select this camera. Let's open inside. Again, change focus distance like this. Let's make distance animation. And in this time, make new focus distance three frame. Go to here and chain distance like this let's see nice select three frames move to right let's say again okay so select is null and select three frames let's hold control click three frames for back to normal not easy is let's say again okay this very fast animation let's change work area six seconds select last three frame move to right and let's say again. So let's go here, press N, and this is my full work area. And go to here, select scene 2, let's control D for duplicate, open scene 3. And let's click this icon for close keyframes and close distance keyframes. Press C again, change object view. And let's search best view for this product. Okay, so go to here, select the null, press R, make again X, Y, and Z rotation. Go to six seconds, and let's try change rotation like this, and change X rotation and Z rotation. Let's press N for select these three frames area. Let's see. Okay, we have more lights here. And let's change distance like this. Okay, and select this element 3D. Go to FX. Let's open physical environment. And open rotate environment. Change rotation lights. Okay. And let's open lights. What is lights? Okay, let's change this product. Or let's change single light. Okay, that's good. And change focus distance here. Let's change like this. And change aperture 50. 
Okay, so select is null, let's hold shift press P, make new pressing keyframe and go to 6 second and move to left and a little bit down. Let's say again. Nice, very good. So again go to 3 second, press N, this is my full work area. Let's close settings, back to project and select is scene 3, Control D for duplicate and open scene composition 4. So right now select this element 3D and go to FX control, open here group 1 and open particle replicator, let's change this sphere and con change 5, press C, let's move the back, ok let's see and open camera settings and close depot field for now, let's see, ok. So, select this element 3D and change scales like this. Okay. And let's go to 3 seconds. Let's make scale keyframes for X, Y, and Z. And go to 1st second. Let's change scales like this. Nice. And let's open rotation. We can rotate like this. Let's go to first second, make all rotation keyframes and go to last three second. Change rotations like this. Okay, very nice. So in this time let's select this element layer and open scene setup. I want to change all styles. Let's open presets and physical. Let's use black color for all details. Only for scene 4, not full scenes. Let's use full here. Okay, very nice. Click OK. Okay, that's good. So, select this background and delete graded ramp. Let's select this element 3D. Close these settings and click show in background. Okay, back to scene setup. And go to again presets, environment, backlight. And let's search here black background. Let's use this. Okay, click OK. Let's see. No, it's not good. Let's back to scene. Let's try this. Or try this. Let's click checkbox for draft textures. Okay, let's try black light. Okay, this is not bad. Let's click OK. Let's see. Okay, very nice. I like it. So, select is null. Press P. And... Let's select last shape frame. Let's go to here and zoom to objects like this. Let's see. Okay, let's select first shape frame. Move to here. Nice. So, in this time, let's create new light and change light style spot, click OK and change light like this and open inside light options and change intensity like this change 2000 and color change blue ok nice let's try change dark blue Nice. So finally let's back to projects and select these all scenes. Back to edit and let's put here. Let's select these all compositions, move to right. Let's select first compensation. This is my first animation. And let's go to edit split layer delete. Select this compensation 2. 
let's move to here okay nice and go to edit split layer or control shift D delete select scene 3 move to here nice and go to again split layer delete and finally scene 4 let's put here nice very good and again go to edit split layer delete so let's see full animation nice very good Okay, let's create new solid layer, add name black box, click OK and let's enable title action save, go to mask and let's make mask like this and click inverted checkbox for cinematic view, let's close title action save, okay that's good. So friends, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.